next next we have this dehumidification process and dehumidification process we cannot think without cooling extracting the then only we can expect the dew point temperature no? and at dew point temperature only the the dehumidification process start and what is dehumidification you know extracting the moisture dehumidification means adding the moisture so next process is also interesting you see dehumidification process exactly is dehumidification with the reheat coil how exactly i'll show you you see most dehumidification process use the combination of cooling and then reheating this is not in all the cases but this also one case for normal window split you will find only cooling you will not find the reheating coil but exactly precisely if you want to maintain this uh, humidity then this is required you see you'll find the two coils one is a cooling coil and one is a reheating coil how exactly i'll show you don't worry the air passes through a cooling device nothing but a cooling coil then some form of heating device say heating coil and this heat can be utilized from the waste heat energy from the system only and i'm talking about the vapor compression cycle in vapor compression cycle in condenser you'll find the heat now so that heat we can utilize to reheat the air but don't think about the process at this level just i'm giving the idea so so that you can understand the process don't think about the system just some idea to understand the process or else i'll give you for example you see consider this is one cooling coil this time drawing the side view and after that you'll find one small capacity heating coil so first air pass through the cooling coil process one to two is the air passing through the cooling coil then process two to three is a heating so this is a heating coil and this is a cooling coil just i'm talking i'm talking i'm just giving the idea about the system first then we'll discuss in detail don't worry so first cooling then heating cooling for what to extract the moisture and heating for what to maintain the area because you know as the temperature increases relative humidity increases yes so so how exactly the process a relative humidity decreases i mean sir that means percentage will be decreased will vary for all this okay the moisture content is different and the rh is different okay yes, yes, yes. so uh, yes, don't get confused. Yes, yes, yes. I, confused so let me zoom this now you see first of all what are the different conditions at different points you see example is what 90 degree dry bulb and 75 degree wet bulb this is a condition one initial condition room only i'm not adding any more outside this is a room air initial condition i'm interested to maintain this 75 degree fahrenheit at 50 per person RH. this is my requirement okay so this is the present condition and these are required condition so now at point one how we got this point one by this 90 and 75 90 you can verify here and 75 line you see this is 75 so this we can consider 70 so this is the intersection point so this is point one okay this is point one now point two somewhere here 50 sorry my mistake point two is here this is point two 75 percent rh sorry 75 percent 75 degree fahrenheit this is 75 degree fahrenheit now and you see 40 and 60 in between if i draw the line i'll get 50 so this point i can consider this condition for point two in between i'm considering say a one to a then a to two so my requirement is at point two but that point two cannot be achieved directly with the cooling so first of all first what we'll do we'll over cool the air so that we can extract more and more moisture means decreasing the humidity after that we are adding the heat that is sensible heat to increase the rh means to increase the rh means to increase the holding capacity of moisture by the air it not mean that we are adding the moisture okay because for human comfort you know this example you can relate with the human comfort for human comfort 50 percent rh is comfortable condition no? so now you see process at point one what are the condition this is dry and humid air because at this point the rh we can consider is 50 percent you can check you see this is the same point now but the temperature is 90 so first we are interested to decrease the temperature so decreasing temperature you see extracting the heat from point one to two and this point one to two same as the previous case in the previous case we talk about cooling the same thing will happen you see temperature decreases and what would happen to this uh, humidity ratio decreases so you see if you just draw the point means vertically down this is latent then this is sensible same as the previous case so humidity ratio decreases and the dry, dry temperature also decreases 
right Primarily. then at point a the condition of air is what saturated almost you see first this is point one this is point two then let me add this point a point a dry bulb temperature you see say 55 degree fahrenheit and what about rh oh, 1997 i think uh, we cannot say 100 percent no? say 97 so this temperature or and you see actually we are looking for 75 then why we are reducing to 55 okay. to extract the moisture for for more condensation so that's the reason we overcool the air we overcool the air so that the temperature of that coil should be less than equal to the dew point temperature of the air so that the condensation can be happen on the coil okay so that's the reason we overcool the air so at, at point one the air is overcooled and for what for, for what to reduce to extract the moisture and you see at this point the moisture or let me write this w1 condition means humidity ratio at w1 is 106.6 grains per pound 120 so if you check you'll get 106 w2 is what this is 64.4 sorry 64.6 grains per pound nothing but this one slightly more than 60 no 64 so to reduce this i mean uh, this moisture this humidity ratio we overcool the air okay but the comfortable condition we must whatever the temperature we're maintaining for human comfort at that temperature rs should be in between 30 to 60 in this example say 50 so to achieve this 50 percent rh what we'll do with the second coil you see one to a is what cooling coil mm -hmm. this is for cooling coil a to 2 is what heating coil Heating coil. So we used to call reheat coil because reheat na first cooling then heating. So we can call reheat. So this coil is called reheat coil in actual practice. We are not calling the heating coil. We used to call reheat process or reheat coil. So by using a very little small capacity, what capacity also we'll talk about enthalpy in here. So con compared to that cooling coil, the capacity of reheat coil is very less. By using that separate heating coil and the heating coil can be a separate heater from the electrical supply means electrical heater resistance heater or it can be waste heat energy from the condenser or from the building we have this option so adding the heat and which heat only sensible you see a to 2 is what you can see from a to 2 means what driver temperature increases na? driver temperature will increase by adding the heat only okay so at point 2 you will get the desirable conditions at point 2 the condition is what 75 degree Fahrenheit this temperature you see this temperature and we are increasing the temperature for what for two reasons first reason to maintain the required temperature second to maintain the rh because as you increase the temperature the holding capacity of the moisture increases so rh decreases now right so you see at yeah. point the rh we can consider as 50 percent so this process is called dehumidification with reheat and dehumidification means with the cooling only mm -hmm. okay got this online yes uh, now we'll talk about this enthalpy see here one to a this this enthalpy this delta h for what for cooling now or i can say one to a this is 15.5 btu per pound means if you want to get the condition from one to a this much of extraction of heat is required and which heat sensible as well as latent okay up to this state point sensible then remaining sensible plus latent then point a to two to get a to two how much heat is required you see this is represent enthalpy now 5.2 right 5.2 5.2 btu you can check this in the psychometric chart you can find out this this part this point this point and you can find out how much increase in humidity so here is a given directly means extracting this 15.5 btu per pound and after that adding 5.2 btu per pound to get the required result so this is a we can say cooling and reheat process or 
actually this is for extracting more and more moisture so the process is the dehumidification with the dehumidification you'll get the cooling also cooling means cooling means humidity ratio decreases so dehumidification you see only sensible cooling means we are not talking about the dehumidification here we are talking about sensible plus latent cooling and latent ha uh, actually for the dehumidification process the latent process will obviously occur because in the evaporative coil condensation is occur hmm. so latent process No, in case of evaporative cooling, you will not get the latent process. That is evaporative cooling. But here we are yeah. talking about sensible plus latent cooling. I mean the with the vapor compression cycle or with the chill water system. Okay, you will find only sensible cooling option also. That is evaporative case, like in air cooler. That also we'll discuss. We have a process.